Congratulations on the win. Uh, going into the scorecards game, were you confident that you had done enough to earn the victory? 100%. I mean, I feel I'm a type of fighter that trains a lot and literally work my, my whole ass off in the camp. So, uh, yeah, I was ready for this fight. Like, give 100% to go in there and feel 100% confident. And you found a lot of success in the clinch, especially against the fence. Is that something you had game plan for or something that you uh, you found success for in the middle of the fight? Well, uh, of course, I had to adjust in the middle of the, of the fight. My corners kind of helped me. And uh, whoever knows King's MMA, uh, clinch is something, a signature. So uh, definitely we train that at King's. But uh, they were the ones who kind of guide me as well and make those adjustments to put the work in. Is this a type of fight that, that you enjoy, where both of you are covered in blood, both of you are bruised up, it's people are debating over who won? Is this the type of performance that you are hoping for? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter that loves blood, you know, I love to fight. I love those type of fights. Of, fights. Uh, of course, you want to get the victory always, um, one way or another, with blood or without blood. I'm always trying to uh, achieve the victory. And, uh, but I'm, I'm pretty confident, you know, I put the work in to, to get the victory and I, I saw the fight uh, at the end as uh, my victory. So being in the weight cut seemed kind of tough, did it take an effect on you? Did you feel kind of like you weren't at full strength today? How bad or how good did you feel? Um, I feel it didn't affect the fight itself. I know it was a little bit unprofessional for myself to take that extra hour, but I still made weight, you know. Uh, but it's something I, I'm going to work on, you know, and try to make weight the, the times it's supposed to be in try to be more professional but no I didn't feel it affected at all I recovered pretty good um, I just had a little bit of complications on the last point two bounce but uh, finally we, we made it with uh, the help of everyone. Last question, did JJ have anything more for you that you expected? Was she stronger or I knew she was a, a really strong fighter you know it didn't surprise me but uh, a fight is a fight you know and I had a plan for example in the first round it didn't went through but it's just adjustments. I feel she's a great fighter and uh, nothing that surprised me, but of course I knew she, how tough she was and uh, of course she'd show it over there. Sabina, you're obviously known for your head kick knockouts. In the second round, you almost caught her. Were you hoping that, you know what, I'm about to get another one finally in the UFC in that moment? Uh, yes, of course. Of co I didn't saw she was uh, that bad after the kick. But it was something in my, in my, it's something in my game, you know. It's something I for sure I want to put in my opponents. But um, I, I was trying to to get that in the second round. You were previously scheduled to fight on the Korea card at the end of last year. Obviously, you know you got moved this one. How's the adjustment? You know, obviously preparing and then having to stay in camp throughout the holidays. It just motivated me more, you know. I, I knew the car that I was it was waiting for me, and uh, for me it was like the beginning of the year. So um, it just moved just a couple of weeks, you know, with the with the nutrition. But uh, I'm a type of fighter that don't do like a fight camp. I like to train all the time. So uh, for me, as soon as I I get back home, that it's four hours away, so I'll be back to train normal. So yeah, it's just adjustment of, of nutrition, but training keeps the same. I know this fight is obviously still very fresh, but you told Joe Rogan you want this year to be the year that people know you. Do you have someone you want to call out and someone who could be next to help propel you forward? Anyone that it's available, I will take it. I don't I don't like to call anyone because I want to make my way there. And uh, for me, anyone that is in the list is, is part of my, it's part of my way, so I'll take anyone.